Good evening, uh, viewers. We are here on a signing ceremony of um, Lewato and Sport tonight, which is going to be between uh, Minister of Youth and Sport through the National Sport Council with GRTS. The Minister of Youth and Sport, you know, deemed to see that um, there is a necessary, you know, for them to sign Lewato and Sport tonight. With me here, I have uh, Sadibu Jame of uh, GRTS, a senior marketing manager, and also my director, Password Fai, uh, development officer, Titao Mendy. So for here, um, I will invite um, Sadibu, you know, to welcome us on this panel. Sadibu. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Boja. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, uh, especially for um, to talk about this panel. Now, giving you the genesis of how it, it happened. Um, sometime in last year, GRT uh, has deemed it necessary to contact the ministry responsible for youth development and sports. And when he contacted the minister, uh, Mr. Aliko Jame, he was very appreciative of this idea to have to partner with GRTS. So we looked at our program and see what we could do. Uh, we proposed to them uh, initially the Lewato program, which is sport, uh, which is um, wrestling, to support and also see what they can do in reviving uh, Gambia's most um, traditional culture uh, event, which is wrestling. And then we got back and forth, back and forth, and they said, you know what, that's not enough. We need to have other sports uh, included in this package. And that's why we included Sports Tonight, which is a program also on GRTH. It looks at other sporting disciplines. So with these two, uh, Lewato and Sports Tonight, we are looking at um, covering all sporting um, disciplines in this country. That's why the, the ministry through the National Sports Council is signing this contract uh, so that we're going to uh, be together to support uh, and develop sports in this country. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry, well, I'm not going to uh, leave you, you know. Um, I want you to also uh, see how important it is that um, GRTS, you know, have think about this, you know, to call the minister himself and said, you know, um, um, can they be able to uh, sp support or sponsor this Lewato and sport tonight? You know, what, what, what inspired you to, to uh, think like that? Thank you very much. I think, uh, personally, I'm a sports-loving guy, and uh, right. Minister and I have that rapport as well. Uh, we always talk about sports, and we say, you know, what can we do? We have that individual liking for the, uh, for the for, for sports, but that, that's not enough. We have to go the extra mile in helping it to grow. And that's why we uh, contacted the ministry. Initially, we just talked to the minister to see how we can get others to come on board. Good. And they said, you know what, we are going to be the first to come in. Oh. Being the first to come in is only to open the door for everyone out there to come and support uh, GRTS, the ministry, and the Gambia in particular, to grow. Um, you, let's look at sport, um, for example, um, uh, wrestling in, in Senegal now has become the biggest sport, even beyond um, football, which is amazing uh, to have um, a, sport, a sport like um, wrestling to grow to that level. And we can, we can do it. I mean, those of us, uh, you the elders, know what wrestling was like in the 70s and the 80s in this country. Okay. You used to be very young. You used to go to these RNs, and God knows that it was something that really made us happy. I mean, families country, not countries, I mean, province, you, I, I, I was well, born the regions. in the regions, yeah. you see region after region, district after the district, you know, village after village, you know, that was, that was amazing. So yeah. we, we think we can do, we can do something great about it. Good. Now, that's not enough. We, the ministry is only an umbrella, or a body, 
but we need those people with the cars, people with you know deep pocket to come in. That is the uh, businesses to come and support. If you look at Senegal, the businesses made sports uh, wrestling. What is it today? Because they invest their money in into it. So we are asking um, sponsors to come on board and take sport to a different level. All right, Gambia. We say that uh, the youth tournaments are always very good, but the transition is always difficult because that's why you need more money, that's Definitely. why you need more investment. So we need uh, businesses to come in, the gum cells, the officers, the banks, all others to come in and support um, GRTS and the Ministry of Youth and Sports uh, to develop the sporting fraternity or sporting uh, uh, discipline in this country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sadibu. If I understand Sadibu, Sadibu is saying that the uh, um, Ministry of Youth and Sports, through the National Sport Council, what he in initiated is a very important call. So he's inviting all the sponsors, you know, the individuals, whoever can be able to chip in to make this thing uh, sustainable. I'm here also with uh, the Director of um, um, Sports, you know, to uh, come in and also, you know, um, share some views. But later on also, you know, we'll come in our local languages so that, you know, um, it will be understand both levels. Director, you know, welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdullah Boyang, Dex Officer, wrestling at this National Sports Council, putting on two caps, being the moderator today. I think, you know, your salary has been taken care of. Thank you very um, much. <laughs> first of all, I must welcome... Um, the Minister of Youth and Sports and commend them for their initiative that they've taken. And but without the inter uh, the creation of the environment, enable environment from the uh, President of the Republic of the Gambia, I think we cannot sit down here and then talk about this thing. So we have to say a very big thanks to the President too. I mean I think it's our duty, it's our responsibility as Minister of Youth and Sports. Thank you. To make sure you know whatever will promote sports will develop sports. It's our entirely responsibility to take it up. Um, this initiative, I think, if you want to know what is happening, where it happens, and how it happens, you must not leave the RTS on board. That's why we said it's deemed necessary to call and then make them part. They we are already partners in development as far as sports is concerned. Because, I mean, any time that we, we come on board to make sure we, uh, we want to make uh, use them or at least invite them to our program. They are always on our miss. Whether it's 24 hours, one hour, 30 minutes, they will always try to make sure they've been taken care of. So we were partners before, but now I think the partnership has been has grown to a level which everybody will see see himself as far as sports is concerned. I mean, the development of sports, as far as the ministry is concerned, I mean, we have to commend and thanks the people who make this thing possible through the Ministry of Youth and Sports. It's NAVEC, GIA, GCCA, Gamtel, Gamsel, Ports Authority, because they are the people who put in their money to make sure it has been taken care of. And definitely the Ministry of Youth and Sports, when they started having this fund from these people, I mean, it has been put into very good use because this is where we we help the sporting associations on their activities. Just recently, the, the concluded merges with the GFF you know, has been from this form through the Ministry of Youth and Sports. I've just gone uh, 10 days with the volleyball competition, uh, 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 association, the wrestling association. All these people have been benefiting. The basketball tournament that we organize is from this form. And just recently, we're giving the regions 